how serious are a problem when it comes to those rising mortgage rates? We know the UK housing market functions a little bit differently than the way it does here in the States, but walk us through the ramifications. Yes, I think really the focus now in terms of the UK's big fight against inflation is focusing on mortgages. You know, even if we look at the UK consumer having more strength in certain other areas, as long as mortgage rates are increasing, it's really going to be a burden on the consumer. And we've seen since late 2021 about 13 interest rate increases from the Bank of England. That's a sort of a continuous pressure on the consumer. And uh, as we're seeing today, this really meaningful data in terms of house prices falling by the most since the financial crisis, it's really becoming a real burden on consumers. Um, we also know that there is more pain to come. We've seen from Bloomberg Economics figures saying that they think house prices could have another 5.5% to fall. And the Bank of England is meeting on Thursday and we could see another interest rate increase come through. So really the focus is shifting onto mortgages and whether there can be any relief for consumers in the months or maybe year to come, it's still to be seen. Is it coming in the form that relief of, of shop prices, Katie, which as you wrote about this morning, finally dropping for the first time in two years? Yeah, that's an area where at least we can be a little bit more optimistic. So we're seeing shop prices across the board actually fell in July. It was a very small decline. It was only 0.1% of the decline. But that's still quite meaningful for consumers because it's, it's great when we can actually talk about prices falling rather than simply inflation easing. Um, the key area where people are really looking there is food inflation. You know, that's the, the product that we all need to buy all the time. And there we've seen a decrease for, for three months in a row. We've seen inflation slowing. So that's really really positive and we're seeing food price inflation at the lowest level since December. Having said that, um, there are more burdens ahead in food supply chains and we can expect global commodities to potentially increase. The focus there is on grain shipments from Ukraine and how Russia pulling out of a recent agreement over grain shipments means there's going to be more pressure there, more pressure on rice exports also from India. So I'm afraid on food price inflation, we're not out of the woods, but yeah. there is at least some cause to be optimistic there.